What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today we are back for another overview. What are we looking at? We are looking at Port of Earth by Zach Kaplan and Andrea Moody. All right, so when I first saw OPB doing a uh, first looks, kind of looking at uh, what's coming out this week, I saw this book and I had not heard of it. And I was like, you know what? It's an image book, it's independent, it's a book I haven't heard of. I gotta check it out because that's, that's kind of what I do. And you know what? I'm so glad I did because it was freaking awesome. Let's find out why. All right, so here we have the deluxe oversized hardcover of Port of Earth. This is written by Zach Kaplan with art by Andrea Muti and uh, colors by Vladimir Popov. So there is the cover. There is our nice shot of the spine. And here is our back cover. And this is uh, published in conjunction image and top cow. So there we go. Let's flip it open and check it out. So we have our stuff at the beginning, as we always say. So, uh, oh, and sorry, Jordan Boyd uh, was the colorist on the kind of last third of the book. So there we go. We have uh, basically it's nearly like 320 pages of story and content, which is great. Uh, the story is almost 300 pages long. So it's a fairly long 12 issue story, really, uh, really fun. And we got some decent quality uh, paper here. So you're not really seeing through the uh, uh, pages as you're flipping through. I mean, here's a light right here, but uh, even like that, you're not seeing a lot through there, which is which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, so basically, the premise of this book is that we are on Earth. It's not really in the future or anything like that. Not super far into the future. But um, aliens come to Earth and all of a sudden... Uh, we realize we are no longer alone in the galaxy as any uh, new alien first contact uh, type story, sci-fi story happens. All of a sudden we're not alone in the Earth, so that or universe, so that kind of throws things into a little bit of turmoil. But uh, what it does is at the very beginning of the story is um, uh, would they come in peace or violence? Uh, then it, one day it happened. Uh, they made contact. They came not in peace or in violence, but in business with a proposition. And that's the whole thing. They are here for commerce and trade. And that is why the aliens are here. It's more than one type of alien race. I guess I could kind of hold it up so you can get a little bit of a flavor for the art there. Um, but yeah, that's the whole premise is they want to be on Earth as a uh, commerce hub, a business hub, and use Earth as a uh, satellite kind of trading center almost, or, you know, refueling station. So that is what the port of Earth is. The Earth becomes a port for this giant commercial trade operation. And so, which definitely makes sense because, I mean, you have exploration and all of that, but the main reason why it seems like most people, uh, <laughs> like why most ventures are out there exploring or when they used to is for resources or finding new land to be able to use and find new trade partners and all that kind of stuff. So it makes sense that this is why they would come to Earth. Um, and so they basically get to work on, you know, Earth agrees they sign up the contract and Earth begins its uh, foray into galactic business as a port. And there are a ton of rules and there are a ton of contractual obligations and really interesting stuff how it gets into the politics of not necessarily the politics of like policy, 
and government or anything like that, but the politics of business and contracts and obligations and that, which kind of sounds boring, but it is definitely a very interesting and very different take on this story. And I'll just kind of flip through as I'm talking and you kind of get the, um, meet some main characters here and you end up, uh, they're going to be followed for a day from the news, uh, to write, you know, kind of talk about who these people are that are help keeping, uh, the human population safe and, uh, keeping these laws and contracts enforced. And these guys are being followed along so people can learn all about that. And obviously, as you're following along with these enforcement guys, stuff happens and things go wrong and um, personalities come into play, politics and business come into play. And it's really interesting how all of this unfolds. I thought it was a really cool, uh, different take on how how this all might play out in the future if this were to ever happen. It seemed like a very kind of realistic proposition and you know there are some things like i don't know if that could actually work but you know what with (laughs) with the way things are going right now who knows at this point but i did have a ton of fun with it and i will say like it's a very um interesting way that they do it they flip between these characters that where the story is actually happening and then they flip to these interviews where this news anchor is interviewing uh, this official representative um, and kind of giving giving this guy the a grilling over what's happened because they're kind of mentioning things that happened and then they're showing what actually happened um, and then you know kind of the spin that gets put on things by the media and the spin that gets put on it by the business and uh, politicians and all that really cool stuff. Uh, it also for art wise, uh, well, actually color wise, I'll say has these very muted earth tones, which, you know, kind of, kind of fits, um, uh, color palettes throughout basically the entire, the entirety of the book. There are some times where you have really colorful pages like this. Um, I won't say why or how, or the reason behind it, but there's some really cool art color that way. I I do get a little, my eyes get a little tired, maybe bored of like such muted color palettes, but this book actually worked really well with how much was going on in the story. Um, it was actually kind of nice to have uh, your eyes almost have a rest so that your brain can concentrate and focus on the different things happening too. Uh, but at different points, obviously, things get uh, splashy with the colors. The art is just absolutely phenomenal. It's I, I love the kind of sketch art in this, where it's got like not uh, it's got a ton of details, but they're not like ultra fine. Like I, I it sounds bad to say like thought out details, but they're the details are there. But I just like the rendition of how the details happen with just these kind of like thick wisps and lines going on really cool love the art style um definitely a nice bind too i'm about halfway through the book so i'll kind of get get in here and show you it's nice sewn binding yeah there we go you can see the eye hole all the way through there uh it uh opens up and lays really nice and flat i you know stretched the bind, the the spine once before I read it and then I've read it once and then taken a couple photos and then now here we are. So really nice bind on this thing and yeah. So story was really great. I do I do wish uh what well, it does make a jump but was it two thirds of the way through? All of a sudden, it's no longer interviewing the businessman. She is now interviewing. Let's see if I can find. She's now interviewing one. Well, another businessman, but she's interviewing one of the representatives of the. Uh, I wanted to say trade federation, but that's Star Wars. Uh, but uh, one of the representatives of the. Uh, kind of the galactic trade stuff that's happening all over the uh, galaxy. 
Um, and they have some really interesting different perspectives and, you know, business minded, but also kind of culturally, uh, how their cultures work. And they explain that, you know, all the different cultures around the galaxy, like they all don't see things and property and business in the same way and what, you know, don't value life in the same way either. So it makes them really interesting, uh, kind of opposing forces that are happening when they're, but they're also trying to work together, which is interesting to see what happens when something like that happens. And then uh, I'm going to not talk too much about the ending and kind of gets into the crazy, some crazy stuff that happens and fall out from the beginning of the book. Um, But you do follow a lot of these same characters, these two guys at least, throughout mostly the entirety of the book. So you see their story, which is really interesting because you do see how they... um, how they grow as characters and how they change, which is really nice. Um, For the end of the book, uh, you do have this ESA database. The ESA are the kind of the protectors of the Earth Security Agency or something like that. I can't quite remember. Uh, But um, here's kind of a galaxy map. You know, here's Earth. And then you have all these different uh, races around. And then you can see a little bit about each of the alien races and some sketch stuff and then uh, some things about them. So pretty cool, pretty interesting. You have character sketches here, talking about their suits, really nice. I love seeing these types of diagrams and things. Uh, Protocols for when you have an alien visitor, which is uh, they uh, refer to quite a bit in the book, are these protocols and policies in place. So it's Kind of cool to see them all written out here. They really did uh, flesh out this huge universe, which is super cool. I love seeing it when they do that. And they just expand this giant, they make this giant universe uh, so that they can tell this story that's happening in one aspect of it. Super cool. Love when they do that and take time to really, really fill that out. Um, so then we have a nice cover art gallery in here. Uh, really nice, cool, really cool covers. I really enjoyed these. Um, let's see. Yeah. But the, even those mostly for the most part continue those, uh, muted color palettes. I mean, obviously there's some color in here with, uh, some of the splashes, but it's very reflective of the actual story too, with those color palettes. So really like that. And then we have a, uh, about the creative team in here. Really nice. And then some more uh, things from the creators that you can find. And then some stuff from Top Cow, which uh, helps produce this. So I really need to finish Aphrodite 9. I got that book. I need to finish it. Anyways, that is a quick look at Port of Earth. All right, so that was a quick overview of Port of Earth. Man, that book was so much fun. I haven't had a ton of time to read over the past month because I've had family in town and I've had a bunch of work stuff going on. And I sat down the other night and I read that entire thing in one sitting uh, while I was watching the Olympics in the background. And it was so fun. And the art was so good and the story was just interesting and all there had all those crazy cool elements and you know what it does end sort of abruptly uh i mean you get a pretty much a full story it does end a little abruptly and it does leave some ends loose uh but i've heard that it's on hiatus i'm hoping that it's coming back because apparently uh amazon has picked up the rights for the story and our allegedly producing a show on it so uh, hopefully that comes to fruition uh, because it's a really cool concept and has a lot of great sci-fi elements it's very like has a district nine feel but kind of that um, yeah it's got kind of a weird play on that district nine thing where you know aliens come to earth and like everything just sort of changes but also kind of stays the same Uh, But yeah, it's super cool and I'm really excited to see what that show does. 
And more importantly, I'm really excited for whatever is going to happen with that show to finally happen so that we can get back to reading more of the story because I got to find out what happens next. Uh, really enjoyed this read. It's pretty cheap to pick it up. Enjoy it. Uh, like I did, like I said, I pounded it out and just in it, a long evening and it was so much fun so uh, if you're looking to pick it up be sure to hit up OPB use my code Omnibuddy if you'd like get two bucks off every order or use ship it Omnibuddy ship it together to get five percent off your entire order of four or more bucks if you're gonna order a bunch of bucks uh, hit them up do that support my channel support OPB they are great with shipping and all that kind of stuff uh, but yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, do all those things. But the most important thing to do, the thing I say in all my videos, is to comment. Let me know in the comments what your favorite sci-fi aliens on Earth book is. I know that's pretty, pretty, pretty specific, pretty niche, but there's a ton of books out there that have aliens on Earth, sci-fi, let me know. I love that kind of genre. So let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.